section 2.3 is about master slides. Now master slides are used to create templates or common features that you want on all your slides. First thing is in common with all of the kind of questions you get is to decide where this will be. Now you might think that the master slides will be under design, that's what they're about really, but no I'm afraid not. They are under view, but again you know that does make sense. What do you want to look at? You want to view something. And in here you can see there's a section on master views. Or to change the slide master, we click on the slide master. Down the left hand panel, you've got a layout of all the different layouts. The first one is your master of the masters. So something you put on this will go on every single layout. Classically, this is the case where you put your logo. And to put in a logo, it's simply a case of insert the picture, navigate to the folder where your logo is stored, and insert it. Having done that, you can push it around as you would any normal picture. I seem to have managed to install two. And make room for it on that one. You'll see it is appearing on every single slide throughout. You might need to go down and alter the position of the titles to make sure this doesn't clash with them. But that is it. If you now close the master view, you can see this now appears on all my slides. And if I change to different layouts, they've all got that same style on them. Similarly, to remove a picture or an element that's on the master slide, you have to click on it in the master view. You'll see here, I cannot click, I can't pick it up, I can't do anything with it, because it's protected in the master view. It's done that so that it's consistent. You can't accidentally move from one slide to another. If I roll down these, you can see, although I'm changing slides, the logo is staying in the exact same position. You're not getting a slight wobble. So to get back to that, view the slide master, and you've got to pick the right slide. In this case, all these individual layouts, again, you can't do anything with the logo. It's back to the very top, the master of the masters, where you can choose that one and delete it.